Hey guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot, and I am here with Carly with Lilith's Window Tarot for episode 61 of Spilling the Tea with Carly and Me. How you doing tonight, Carly? I'm doing good. It's uh, hot as what the F outside here in uh, the lovely Midwest. So yes. stay yes. cool. Don't be an ass and leave your animals outside. Yes, or things. or your children in your car. Just let's. Oh every, yeah, let's, those too. <laughs> let's everybody focus on trying to get home safely, and and one hundred percent. Yes. Okay, so let's let's get into. I didn't light my candle. Shame on me. I'm gonna light my candle real quick, guys. Light it. I know. I have, I have a I have a light up mouse. Does that count? No. I have one of those too. <laughs> okay, so let's get into the energy All for right. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What does Aries need to know? Boy, my eyes have been watering all day, and I tell you, what is going on with that? Let's give me some I don't know. clarity and guidance for Aries, please. Wow. Wow. Okay, so something's divinely guided here. So fate is stepping in and they're saying, sit down, take a rest, because something just fell completely apart. And I, I want to see if, and it, did it fall completely apart because you were in your ego? No, you want a victory in love here with the queen of, the queen of pentacles, but there's a lot of drama from the past. Wow. Okay, so what I'm saying for Aries, first of all, something that's meant to happen, but you need to recover from some kind of tower moment and that whatever wasn't built on a solid foundation, it collapsed. But the good thing about a tower is it can be rebuilt on a solid foundation so that you can actually have a victory. There is a new beginning in love with the Queen of Pentacles, but there's somebody who's very jealous from the past around you. Um, so let's see why... why um, yeah, they're regretting, they're having some regrets about a relationship. Um, and I feel like they're, they're regretting, they're regretting something about a relationship. They're single and they're looking back at the past mistakes. So I feel like an ending was under the bottom of the deck. What I feel like that tower moment that you need to recover from has to do with this person that's jealous of this new beginning in love. So you may have had a complete breakup with somebody and now you've met somebody new and now they're coming back around with regrets, looking back at past mistakes. They're feeling a little jealous and insecure. So you got, you're going to have a little bit of a battle on your hands for a minute. All right. Aries. Okay. I feel like somebody was trying to move a relationship forward while they breadcrumbed you or gave you just enough to to keep you so you felt stuck. Yeah, they were they were juggling. I feel like this was this was a a, a conscious choice that this person made because anytime we have this 6 of pentacles, okay? You know, he's holding the scales, right? When, which can be which can be equal give and take. But when it's next to something like the Eight of Swords, they are holding the scales. They are they are making you feel this way. They're keeping you like on the hook almost, right? And pages are immature energies. So they're giving you just enough, but not enough to sustain. Um what is let's see why here. What's going on? It's because of somebody from the past that it ended with. Um, there will be justice. Um, you'll learn why this all happened. You may not be able to feel it now, but bottom of the deck, we have um, recovering. the four of wards. <laughs> yeah, recovering. So, so yeah, so whatever happened, whomever this happened to or whomever you did this to, because we've all been the bad guy once, um, whatever, take it as it resonates, um, you're going to heal and recover. You're going to figure out why. Um, and, and even if you don't get all of the answers, because sometimes we're not meant to. If you're one of the people like me, I'm always, why, why, why? Well, you don't always get to know why. When you've healed and moved on, you stop asking why. And that's how you know you're healed. Okay, so take, yes. take a minute, take a breath, relax, recover, heal. You'll be fine. 
Absolutely. Okay, so let's get into Taurus. What's going on with the Taurus gang? What's going on with the bulls? So looking at something from a different perspective or taking taking the time. This could be, you know, taking a minute, you know, just. Mm. So you're blocking an apology, I feel like, because somebody breadcrumbed you and you see things differently now. You see things differently because they breadcrumbed you. So sometimes, sometimes, uh, what is that saying? Everybody's saying now they don't recognize until you, you put something completely on stop. You know what I'm saying? Um, so they don't recognize what they had until you, you don't feed them anymore. You don't give in to this anymore. And you're blocking this apology. I feel like, I feel like they're telling you they want to be with you. They're manifesting you by saying, I want to be with you. I want to move this forward, forward action. I want to tell you the truth, but you're still, you're still very kind of guarded and defensive. You know, I don't, I don't feel like you care I, because you know that they're a narcissist and you're just kind of over it. You see something different under the bottom of the deck was betrayal. So I feel like you being breadcrumbed maybe did they did you a favor by breadcrumbing you because you saw something from a different perspective and now you just blocked it even if they want to be with you you're like no thank you i'm good i'm good mm -hmm. unsubscribe all right so we've got some drama maybe some competition could be some internal it does looks it looks like internal struggle um, over a choice, trying to figure out what to do, going a, like round and around and around in your head about something. Um, King of Swords energy could involve an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, or you know you just need to make a final decision. Why do I feel like you just keep running back to this, the same thing, the same person, the same situation? It's like one, you know you need to man up, but bam, all of a sudden you're like, but here's this wand. It's a really nice wand. <laughs> and you just go back to the same. You do. You're going back to the same thing. And you know you need to change. I don't know what this is about, guys. But this is a toxic, like, cycle for you. It's like, you know you need to not be an F-boy or not need to be a womanizer or not need to be a manizer. Whatever it is. It doesn't matter. Male, female, whatever. But, you know, you always go, but it's a really nice one. <laughs> and um, it looks like it is, apparently. I mean, but you've got to get out of this energy. You know you need to. You're, you're not happy. Yeah, you're not happy. You're miserable. You're taking things away from people. You're playing games with people. Um, and you're not living to your full potential. You're holding on to this energy. Why are you holding on to this energy? So it looks like you're holding on to this energy because of something in the past that didn't measure up, that you don't talk about, um, that was maybe a long time ago. Um, you need to cut that ish right out so that you stop doing this to people. Because it's one thing to hurt yourself. It's another thing to hurt other people. I don't know what's going on here, and I don't judge. But yes, it is a nice wand. Um, but, you know, when you wake up in the morning and the wand looks like that, let's just quit. Let's just stop. <laughs> Let's just stop. <laughs> okay. <That> was... <laughs> Jim and I, what does Jim and I need to know? That was good. I couldn't hear you at like all. That. You do uh, what? You do what? It, I couldn't hear you at all. I was like, oh my God, did I lose her? And then, then I heard you laughing. I was like, oh my God, where'd she go? Oh my God, that's funny. You, could you imagine waking up next to that thing? Oh no. I don't right? think so. I don't think think so oh, no. that's that what's that but when it's we a were... very nice wand <laughs> well yes yes it probably is but wasn't that called wolf ugly when we were kids yeah you know that's oh, yeah. that's almost like a triple bagger you put two bags on just in case one falls off <laughs> yeah well and and the person the person doing that's the one that needs the bags and and i'll tell you what guys we have all been places, done things, said things, whatever, okay? We have all been in very low, low places, right? Yes. Where you just can't quite seem to stop doing what you're doing because you don't know how to figure your way forward. So you're like, I'm just going to keep doing this. I don't know what else to do. We've all been there. But here's your warning. You have to change. 
you got to yeah. figure it out. Something you're, you're, you got, you're you hurting gotta other grow. people. You got to raise your vibration. Yeah. 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 You're hurting other people. It's not okay. Okay. Let's get into Gemini, please. Gemini. Gemini's at a crossroads. Um, I feel like they want something fair and balanced with this justice card and they're wanting to work and collaborate, but they keep looking back at the past. Okay. So you better make a decision. Are you going forward? Or are you going backwards? That's what I'm kind of feeling here. You want to work on something. You want something fair and balanced, but you keep looking over your shoulder. Um, you, there is going to be communication with somebody from the past and it's been a long time coming. Are you going to get over it? There was burdens. There was burdens of a choice. You have a burden of a choice. King of swords. You have a pre empress here that you may be breadcrumbing or you may not be giving to the way you should be. And, and you need to be patient or they need to be patient. It's your D boy. You don't know what you want. Do you? Wow. You have somebody here. You have somebody here that's single and abundant. And you're kind of being strategic, but you're not giving to the situation like you should, but you need to be fair and balanced with this person. This equal give and take, I, I don't feel like you're being fair to this person um, because maybe because of an option that you want to be with. Um, coming in as the king of wands, a little bit of a player. You know, there's a harsh truth being spoken. You need to get up and move your seat away from Taurus, Gemini. Yeah, this person's yes. going to speak a harsh truth. They're holding on. They feel very trapped in their head about a queen of wands. Could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Could be inner something who, who someone who's interfering, and they feel very trapped in their head. So I feel like whatever this is, this person is not moving forward with the pre empress because of his past, and he has to get past the past in order to go forward. So that's what I've got. Well, well. Sounds right. familiar. <laughs> All right. So we have something very di divinely guided. Um, feels like it's taking forever. Be with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio doesn't necessarily have to be. Temperance is a card of Sagittarius, but something I feel like somebody is taking a really long time to master their emotions, to to mature emotionally, right? Yeah, they're kind of like, you know, I don't want to do it that way. I'm going to do it my way. I'm, you know, I've always done it this way. Well, you know, when you have to say that sentence, it means that it's stopped working. Whatever you've always done that way has stopped working when you need to say that sentence. Yeah, you're stuck. In a, you're stuck. You're not. Yeah. Oh. Could have been because you got your heart broke. But you're not going, you're very, you have a lot of stagnant energy. The universe is really, really, really trying to um, temper this energy to move you forward, to help you heal, all of these things. And you are like, I, I mean, if this isn't, you know, putting your back up against the wall, I don't know what is. Look, God, look at that forever. It's been forever. Um, could have been, it could have been, you know, you were hurt by this queen of pentacles. It could be that this queen of pentacles is the person that you want, but you're just not grown up. You're not, you're not letting go the hurt. You're holding on to the past and, and, and holding her at bay, like, you know, pushing her, she only allowing her to get so close. She's your empress. And the universe is telling you literally to run away from this past, acknowledge it, forgive yourself and and move forward quickly because if you don't you'll lose her yeah you'll be walking alone yeah y y yeah the, uh, people people i'm telling you i'm telling you how is it that we can help everyone else and yet my life is a total <laughs> you know what your to your life is not don't put that out to the universe always I manifest it, it like you already have what you want okay so um let's get into the cancer oh cancer oh you know cancer. oh my god my cancer okay is cancer season over yet what's the last day of cancer season? um i do believe it is um tomorrow uh, uh it, it it's either i think it changes tomorrow so i think today is the last okay. day today is yeah, the last I was day really i was really close to being a cancer really close. i was i but I, yeah. Which, what day is your birthday? The 14th? The 25th. The 25th. Oh, why yes. do I keep thinking that? 
Why do I think you're in August when I you're I, you've told me a hundred times you're July twenty fifth? I don't know. We're five days apart, my dear. Five days. Mine was yesterday. Crazy. Yeah, that's insanity. I know. One more year and I'll be sixty. You know the world. The world would have exploded if we would have dropped on it. Been like, no, abort mission, abort mission. <laughs> Okay, so what does cancer need to know? What does cancer need to know? What does cancer need to know? Okay. Oh, well, 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 look at there. So there's there a, a, there's a relationship there that's a, a burden. There's a relationship burden with the king of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, because somebody's waiting. They're waiting because of a queen of wands, king of wands, oh, two of cups. I feel like the relationship burden with the King of Swords is because he is waiting to reconcile with somebody from his past that he saw as his Two of Cups. Queen of Wands, King of Wands, they would be a true match, right? Um, I don't feel like that's Cancer's energy. Um, I feel like, I feel like, well, with this burden, this burden, the queen of wands, the, <laughs> okay, first of all, the relationship burden for this king of swords is the queen of wands, king of wands, reconciliation, right? The, um, and I feel like, oh, 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 somebody's reconciled with a third party. This king of wands isn't this king of swords. The burden on her, it, the burden it, with that relationship is that there was a third party. But somebody over here is waiting for their two of cups to have justice to speak the truth and apologize to move forward. Okay, so if somebody's been acting like a jackhole, and I feel like, I feel like it's this person felt burdens in a relationship because of somebody from their past. I, that's, that's what I'm feeling like this. I want to see more about this three of cups reconciliation at a crossroads because of what was hidden with an option. Yeah. Okay. So I feel like this, I feel like this king of swords that you may be dealing with who's now waiting for his two of cups because he realizes that this person over here, this queen of wands, um, they, he may have felt like they were the king of they, that they were a perfect match and he may have wanted to reconcile, but they reconciled with a third party. They're at a crossroads because of this king of pentacles that was hidden, a, a hidden option. Now that's a lot to take in. So if you're dealing with the king of swords, he thought he had his true match in the past, but it was just a burden. And the rec this person reconciled with their ex, but now he's waiting to move forward and speak the truth. So you'll hear the truth. It's going to come out. My God, should we have a, a daytime soap show? I think. We should. <laughs> I think as the tarot turns. As the tarot yes. turns. Yes. <laughs> All right. Sorry about the dog. Nothing I can do um judgment so i feel like somebody wants to reconnect or is trying to make a decision could be this king of cups okay here we have a pair probably husband and wife looks like um i feel like only one of them is is really doing the work in the relationship um and we all know that it takes two people doing 100 percent of the work every day to make something work but I feel like, um, and ma male, female, doesn't matter. That doesn't, that's not really the issue. But I feel like this King of Cups is probably the one taking on all the burdens or the responsibilities for whatever reason um, and is about to blow the whistle and say, hey, I'm not doing this anymore. Yeah, I'm about, I'm about out. Um, we should be working together. See, I mean, they should be working together, but he's going to end it. Because you cannot expect one person. Yes, people go through, you know, you know, ebbs and flows, but not forever. And if this Queen of Cups has taken a permanent leave because she's 
been on a bender for three years or because she's you know whatever it is whatever trauma she's not fixing that's requiring him to do all the work and carry the burdens he's about done he's about done yeah he's there's gonna be a big old fight and he may have already found somebody enter queen of wands i mean if you put a man in, or or a woman in this situation they're gonna look towards somebody else um but in the bottom in, in the end he's gonna be victorious because He's he's loading up and moving out. He may already have somebody in mind, or this could be the person that the universe is going to bring to him. Because right now, this is not his person. Not not if they make you feel like that. Wow. So he's going to make a decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, and you know that Queen of Wands. I mean, of course, they, they're you know they can be the mistress of the deck. But part of the reason that they are the mistress of the deck is because the universe puts them in front of you for a reason either to pass a test or to move away from something like this so yeah whether you'll be tempted or not yeah. yes okay there you go okay so let's yeah. see what leo has to say what is going on with leo what is going on with leo please oh leo 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 You're recovering from the past. If somebody still wants to win. They're watching. I feel like this. there's a soulmate that wants to move forward with their Ten of Cups, Two of Cups. They're manifesting. But there's deception under the bottom of the deck and somebody is trying to win by lying, cheating, stealing. Out in the cold, wanting to reconcile something long-term and committed. Somebody's like... Totally new information, Barbara. Huh? I said this is totally new information. So, I feel like, Leo, you're sitting there resting. You're looking back at past mistakes or the seeds that you planted, but you're still trying to recover from something. You're recovering from somebody who's trying to win at all cost. Somebody who is trying for an empty victory. There's this person was just trying to. I get I'm getting controlling. Something's been very controlling and they're they're they've got their eye on this or you see this. But it is a soulmate. It is a soulmate that wants to move forward with their Ten of Cups, that they're manifesting their Two of Cups. But they've been out in the cold, wanting to reconcile something long term and committed, but you have somebody who's sneaky and in their ego and i feel like this watching you is this person creeping around and you know can win because they're like and i've said this before this person could be like your shadow you don't see them they could be standing next to you in the grocery store and you wouldn't know it was them or they're that good where they can they're they're able to spot you and they're watching you they're watching you. They're being sneaky about it, though. That's very, very unsettling. It is unsettling. It's kind of creepy, but, you know, pay attention to your surroundings, guys. Always pay attention to your surroundings. God. All right, Leo, what do you got? Right out of the gate, we got Leo. I feel like this is you, like, every day, just multitasking the things that you have to do, things that have to be done. Um, your feelings, you know, that water is still in the background, and those ships are getting closer and closer. You've got something coming in um, that you can't see. You're unaware of it. Yeah, you can't see it. You are really trying to just follow your path and, and you know, keeping hope alive. What I like about the the hermit is there's a star in that lantern, right? So you're really trying to stay out of everybody else's way. You're really trying to illuminate only your path, um, which does take strength, you know, and you're trying to do what you have to do every day and still do this. Working on your shit and going to work and taking care of people and taking care of yourself every day is a lot, right? Something's coming you don't see. Well, here you are. Yeah, you're 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 still kind of trying to get over the past, just like you said, that seven of wands. Enter King of Swords. Somebody um 
very strategic. It's almost um, that Five of Swords energy. That King of Swords, Five of Swords is kind yeah, of with, that. With the moon, you are complete. You're, not, you're unaware of this person. Like, they, you can't see them. Um, I think you are their wish fulfillment, and they may very well be yours, but you are really trying to focus on just doing what you need to do, you know, trying to not look back at that past so much. Um, I don't know why I laid the cards out like this, but we do have a queen of pentacles causing some freaking problems and being sneaky. How, how far away from me are you, Barb? 1500 miles <laughs> all right yeah and there you go yeah there's somebody that's yeah you just got to pay attention yeah. to your surroundings somebody that yeah somebody that doesn't want to let go and is being sneaky yeah um but i'm telling you right now this person that probably wants to be with or that wants to be with you and that you probably want to be with because you're looking back here and here they are you don't see them right in front of you, right? Right. So yeah. continue to work on yourself. That's the best advice I can give you. Continue to work on yourself. Letting go of past hurts, forgiving yourself, forgiving others, moving forward, trying to stay in alignment as best you can, um, and it'll all come out in the wash. Yep, it sure will. It absolutely will. If that, if that wasn't a tandem read, I don't know what was. There you go. There you go. Okay, so Virgo. What's going on for the Virgos? Oh, oh right out the gate. There's something hidden about it. <laughs> These you people. just cannot. You cannot make this up. This is the reading I get for Virgo almost every week. So there was something that was hidden. And you walked away from an empress, and now you want to come back around and apologize for the betrayal, right? And reconcile. Because you're unhappy. You're unhappy with the choices you made, right? Okay, so now you're trying to rest and recover because of a choice. <laughs> just, oh, <geez. laughs> I have just... Okay, something hidden. Secrets. Secrets, right? That you kept from the Empress, right? And you walked away, and now you want to apologize for the betrayal, reconcile your discontent to heal because of a choice. You just can't make that up. You can't. That's that's just, you're dealing with a cancer, more than likely, Virgo. I'm just saying. It's come up for, I can't right. even tell you how long. A long time. A long time. Yes. So, Looks like somebody has a choice here. They've kind of already decided which way they're going to go. They've got their hand on that wand, but they're not talking about it, not telling anybody about it. They're just waiting and watching. It's almost like people watching. I don't, I don't know what that's about, but yeah. And then they're going to pounce, whatever that means. So this is kind of the calm before whatever storm this is. If they're bolting out of a relationship, bolting out of a job, bolting out of a house, whoo, there it is. There's that tower. This movement is that tower moment. Wow. Uh, who maybe going back to um somebody from the past that's their wish fulfillment that they want to have victory with. Um could be a cancer Pisces or Scorpio. <laughs> uh, but it's somebody that you want a relationship with, that you want to heal something, you want to work together. Oh my lord! I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. That is hilarious. Hey. Okay. I feel like we should just start doing readings with one card. Like, all right, here's what here's what we're gonna do. Yes. No kidding. No kidding. Okay. So Libra, what's going on with Libra? What is going on with Libra? Libra. Wow. Okay. You're mastering your emotions to work on something. You're at a crossroads because of somebody trying to win. So I feel like I want to get clarity on that. You're very in your head about ending something because somebody is just trying to be too controlling. You're very trapped in your head about ending something because somebody's trying to control. You're working on yourself. You're working on mastering your emotions and you're making a decision. Um, and I feel like it. it this is... is This could be a third party choice that you want to move forward with. 
but you're you're looking to end something because somebody's controlling and you're working on your emotions and at a crossroads it could be about a third party choice to move forward so you may have you may have an offer coming in from a queen of wands but and you don't want to miss this opportunity by waiting too long i just that's where we're at you you don't you have an offer coming in from a queen of wands you don't want to miss it don't wait too long and, and miss out on the opportunity. End, end, end this. End this nonsense here. Nobody wants to deal with uh, somebody who's just Mr. Ego 24-7. Nobody wants that. Low vibration king of wands would be. <laughs> All right. So he's reassessing. You know, taking stock, um, trying to, trying unsuccessfully, it looks like. Because if you're a king, but you're only communicating at a page level, you're not going to get the whatever work done. You're not going to get this job done. You're not going to, you know, be able to, to have a working relationship. Um, but there is a tower moment coming. This king of wands is going to have to figure out which direction he wants to go. Does he want to live in the past or does he want to go forward? You can really only go one way. Looks like he wants to go forward. So we have two, two. I mean, this is a card of Leo and, and you know, King of Wands can be Aries, Leo, or Sag. But Virgo, I feel like this King of Wands well, you're in is Libra. you. Huh? We're in Libra. Yeah. I was just saying that these are both Leo. Oh, okay. That's Sorry. what I'm saying. I, Libra, I feel like this is you. Um, Just not, just not doing much about anything like you know you want to work with this person but it's literally going to take somebody blowing you off of your butt to get you to go to get you to giddy up and go so whatever 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 it is you want whatever offer it is you want to make whatever um co-op you want to you know create or have or whatever you have to get up off your butt and do it because you know you can't just stand around leaning on your shovel like, I don't even know what to tell you. Yeah, somebody's going to come in and take it away from you if you don't get your butt moving. Whatever it is you want, whoever it is you want, make your decision, make your offer, and and run with it. Or you're you're never going to have happiness. There you go. <laughs> if you think too long, you'll miss it. Yeah, don't, don't miss the opportunity. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Just another way of coming at it. Okay. Uh, Don't wait too long and miss the opportunity. You, what's that you say? Fifteen hundred miles. Mark? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. So Scorpio, my Scorps. What's going on oh, with my the Scorps? Scorpios, my little stingers. Okay. So somebody, somebody's coming clean about cheating. Okay. So somebody's going to speak the truth, and it has to do with a relationship to reconcile what was hidden. And somebody was hiding that they were juggling and they're holding back because they keep looking back at past mistakes. And but they need to speak the truth, right? They were they were toxic. There was somebody was obsessed with sex here. Okay. Yeah. Somebody somebody was going back to somebody from the past because the sex was really good. It was really intense. It was that yeah. <laughs> the sex was the sex was all all about that. It was all about that. Right? And now they're ready. <laughs> and they're jealous they're very jealous uh or they're they're all about drama now queen of wands wow okay so they're they're jealous of somebody else okay um they're blocking something from moving forward they're trying to block somebody from moving forward okay scorpio you want to speak the truth about a relationship to reconcile what was hidden juggling holding back and looking at look holding back looking at the past because you're obsessed with sex here you're obsessed with this person the 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 sexual aspect of the relationship with this person is um what you have you have to tell the truth to somebody about this this is why you did it this is this is you telling the truth to reconcile what was hidden but what was hidden was the fact that you juggled and held back from looking back at this past mistake to tell somebody what was going on because of the sex right and there's a lot of drama here and queen of wands 
is trying to block something from moving forward. Okay, so I feel like that Queen of Wands in this at in this case could be the your relationship that you're trying to reconcile. So if you're telling somebody that you're in a relationship, the truth about somebody from the past and you're saying but the sex was really good, they're going they're going to be jealous and they're going to try to block it from moving forward. They don't want you looking back at the past, especially if you're making this person, you know how hard it is to make a queen of wands insecure? Pretty hard. But you're going to do it if you keep, like, this person's going to, to they're jealous and they don't want, they, they don't want any forward movement with that. So, you know, I would, I would let go of this if you want to keep this. You want to keep that queen of wands happy? Let go of that. Mm. All right, boy. So it looks like somebody. Oh, okay. Wow, wow. What's happening? That's a lot of wands. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Why do I? Who has what is going on here? Okay. So it looks like. Scorpio, I feel like this almost feels like text message breakup to me right here. These three cards. Like, it's such BS. And, you know, this guy looks, if you look at this guy, he's not even showing his face. Like, he's ashamed. Um, But, you know, you you did it. You got rid of that person. And you're moving on to somebody else or something else. Um. That Wheel of Fortune is moving forward. I think this Queen of Wands may very well teach you a lesson, good sir, because she's right underneath the devil. You may be a player, but you are no Queen of Wands sitting underneath the devil. I can tell you that right now. Right now. You may be coming in with your magic stick. She's got one and hers is bigger. <laughs> so uh, lest you not play games and get stuck somewhere you don't want to get stuck and be mind effed. Think about your actions and how they affect other people. You don't you don't text message breakup. And for those of you who know, you know, you can't text message breakup. Okay? So, yeah, and here you are, bottom of the deck. I, I, I don't know what's and maybe somebody did this to you. I don't know. But this is this is BS energy right here. BS energy. Yeah. Not B D energy. It's little D energy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and so whether this has been done to you or you did it, first of all, who, whoever did it, you both know better. And if it happened to you, just move on. Dear God, just get a, just move on. But I'm telling you right now, you can't, if you're going to go, if you're going to, if you're going to a street fight and you're going to try and fight a queen of wands, who's got the devil on her shoulders, ain't nobody winning that. Not one person. <laughs> Don't care what you say. Yeah, that that's a that's a little bit uh, tough to tangle with. Okay, so let's get it. into Sagittarius. What is going on with Sagittarius, please? Okay, um, so somebody here is got having a tower moment because they're holding on, trying to master their emotions to have a victory. Um, juggling out in the cold making a decision out in the cold if they want to be with somebody they this is their wish they're but they're at a crossroads this person doesn't know what they want i'm just saying when you have somebody who's had a tower moment and then they're holding on or holding back trying to master their emotions i feel like holding back because they're trying to master their emotions to have a victory this person wants to win and I feel like this person, th this all represents to me the Five of Swords, right? Someone's holding back, trying to master their emotions to try to win, to try to win, right? It's causing a tower moment. But juggling out in the out in the cold, whether or not they want to be with somebody, trying to decide if they want to be with somebody, but they are they are not with that person. They're out in the cold, right? They they may want to heal, but they're at a crossroads and they got to make a decision. They don't know what they want. 
they don't know what they want. They're kind of just like all over the place. And I feel like it's trying to figure out how to, how to arrange their furniture out on the street when their house well, got blown away. I feel like, I feel like, first of all, Sagittarius, you may be dealing with a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio that may be trying to either hold on to you or hold back, but they want a victory. They're, they, they're trying to decide from out in the cold if they want to, if they want to come and offer you that cup. They want to offer you that cup, queen of pentacles from the past. I feel like this is your energy coming in as solid, stable, and dependable from the past. They, they, that you're their wish, but they're still at a crossroads. Got to make a decision. They got to make a decision. They're watching you. They're watching you. <laughs> queen of cups using their intuition, needing strength for this relationship. Looking back at past mistakes, people, this person is stuck in their head because of their own past mistakes. And, you know, it's hard to come knock at somebody's door and, and, um, say, oh, Hey, how you doing after, you know, oh, can, can you turn around and let me take that knife out of your back? Right. So, <laughs> yeah, it's hard to come forward. Crow is better served warm than it is cold. Okay. When you, when you do something wrong, own it instead of trying to figure out in the future how to recover from it or recover it. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, here we have Queen of Pentacles. She's someone's happiness. She's, she is really, whatever is going on, the universe is really trying to make it happen for, for this Queen of Pentacles. And it, it doesn't have to be, an earth sign. Um, she's stuck on something else, though. What is she? Maybe stuck on a choice, having to make a choice. But the answer, Pisces or Scorpio. Yeah. Same cards she, I got. Yeah. I almost feel like, I mean, it's almost like she's blocking everything. Why? Why is she? Why is she blocking everything? Oh, well, there's a player in the mix. That breadcrumbed her. <laughs> Walked yeah, away. <laughs> breadcrumbed her. Yeah, and then iced her out of the relationship that she wanted. And he snuck right out. She's still thinking about him, but the wheel is spinning in her favor towards wh whoever, whoever this King of Cups is. But he's tried and tried and tried. Mm. So you're blocking your blessings, basically. You 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 found this beautiful pony. You love the pony, you feed the pony sugar, but, and you know, carrots. <laughs> right, that, uh, that, that uh, pony's only going to cost you money. And in the end, he's basically just going to die. So move on, just move on, <laughs> just move on. Good gravy, people. <laughs> Stop buying sugar cubes. Don't visit Taurus. Oh Stay home God. in your own damn head. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so Capricorn. Give me some clarity and guidance for Capricorn, please. Aye, aye, aye. Queen of Wands, deception. Moving forward to heal. Holding back because of a tower moment. Wanting to speak the truth. Juggling a broken heart and wanting a new beginning. What in the world? You're guarded and defensive trying to work on something. Someone's being strategic about how they close out a cycle, ending something. You feel very trapped in your head of wanting your ha you you're very trapped in your head, but the 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 burdens have been illuminated. It's been a long time coming. Okay. The burden that was illuminated to you here that you're very trapped in your head needing to close out a cycle being strategic to work on that because you're kind of guarded is that this person was cheating. The queen of the queen of wands, their deception. They may have moved on or you may have moved on from a queen of wands because they cheated. It left you with a broken heart because they held back and juggled. Right? And now you're speaking the truth and you'll have a new beginning, but I feel like you're just dealing with a broken heart and you've got to try to move forward. But you know, it's been, it's finally, you finally know the truth. That's what's going on. You finally know the truth. Oh. All right. Well, there's that queen of pentacles again, making a choice about her future. I'm not getting the sense that that's another person. I feel like 
I think she's I think she's trying to choose her future instead of her love for someone or something. She wants something balanced. Yeah. I th- first of all, I think this is the same person. Th- and this is what she's 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 trying to is she, you know, going to go ahead and go forward and do what's in her best interest or is she going to hang on to this past relationship or even current relationship where she's being breadcrumbed. Well, it looks like she's she's tried to manifest equal give and take. Um probably wasn't working, so she, you know, there's her water Uber. But she really is struggling to make this decision. Really, really, really struggling. Yeah, up in her head. Up in her head. Yeah, she's going to move. She's gone. She's out. Which she probably should be because she may or may not be have, you know, being juggled. But whatever is going on, when you have to, when you feel like this because of a relationship, you know, just, just go, just, just go. I mean, when you're constantly contemplating and overthinking, which, you know, these two cars, I mean, that's a lot of overthinking and a lot of insomnia and a lot of worry. You know, is this the right thing to do? Should I stay? Should I go? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Not being able to come to a decision means you've already come to one. It's time to go. Yeah. Oh, well, Larry, yeah. It's a song, a song from the past. When you choose not to decide, you still have made a choice. Yep. So. Fact. Fact. Yes. When you choose not to decide, you still have made a choice. So what do we got for Aquarius? What is going on for the Aquas? Yes. I just heard, ha ha. Oh, just God. Heard. So a lot of back and forth communication. Somebody is winning. Um, I, I feel like someone may be communicating that they won. Like, I won, I won. That's kind of what that is. But I feel like... This balance or patience, not speaking. Somebody, okay, not speaking, ending, moving forward. It's been a long time coming. Okay, this this person, uh, I feel like, I feel like it's a judgment. I feel like. Oh you, my God, you said that. You know, I feel like, I feel like this isn't, this is somebody who's, you're thinking they're, they're trying to find some balance, but there's judgment of somebody else. And I feel like, I don't feel like your mom's judging it or your mom's judgment about a situation. I feel like this is the mother for some reason. I'm getting mother energy here, but not speaking and ending something and moving on. But you, it's like you're finally, you're finally doing it. And and I feel like you're finding that balance or that patience um, because of the judgment of your, 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 whoever your queen of pentacles is, I'm feeling it's a mother energy. Your mother's, t- you know, your mother said, you know, it's enough. You need to leave this person. You need to, you need to just stop talking to this person and move on. And that's what they're doing. But I feel like the victory is for you to be happy. Um, you're coming in as the queen of cups. This is about your happiness. You're, you, you know, you're using your intuition. You're in, you have the world that somebody, somebody was communicating here that somebody was, there was options from the past and you got breadcrumbed. Okay. So there, there is a lot of back and forth communication about somebody cheating. Okay. And, and I feel like the victory for you, the victory for you, um, and your wish fulfillment is to use your intuition so that you can be happy. But I feel like what's going to happen is, is you're going to have, you're going to have a family member in your ear. It could be a family member. It could be your best friend. It could be your mother, but I'm feeling mother energy here. And I feel like this is this person's judgment and they've been kind of patient and, and they've been trying to balance their judgment. They're trying to hold their tongue. They're trying to hold their tongue here um, and, and try to stay out of it. But at the end of the day, they there this is what they tell you stop talking to this person walk away move on and it's it this has been you know this you should have done this a long time ago so yeah listen to mother's advice most definitely <laughs> all right well somebody's stressed out feeling stuck 
feeling alone, trying alone and trying to figure something out, alone and trying to work out a problem, alone in a relationship, alone, whatever it is. They feel alone. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's some, uh, this to me is, you know, yes, it can be internal struggle. It can also be that kind of peanut gallery. And somebody is, is a little bit egotistical and they're constantly putting their two cents in and it's causing more aggravation. Okay. It's causing more aggravation. Um, Yeah, you know what? It's funny because I feel like I feel like she's scolding, you know, like you can't communicate at this level, kiddo. Whether this is just an older person, male, female, doesn't matter. It even they don't even have to be older. They're if they're just giving you advice saying you have got to to put down some boundaries. You have got to not let people walk all over you or whatever. Whatever it is. Um King of Wands. They're, they're trying to light a fire under your ass, like 100%, because you're just carrying this burden. You're you're not allowing yourself to be free from it. So whatever it is, you need to speak your piece. You need to tell the truth. You need to lay down some boundaries. You know, don't stutter, you know, head back, shoulders up, tits out. Come on now. Just do the thing. And then there's where you come in as a king on your own, right? When th there's when you move forward. Yeah. And, and then, then there's when you can speak to somebody else and, and stand tall, you know, and not have a fish in your cup. But <laughs> the universe wants you to be happy. They just want you to make the right choice before you jump. So there you go. Yeah. They don't want to go off that cliff, you know. No. <laughs> no, no, no. They don't yeah. want to go off that cliff. So, okay. So Pisces, what do we got for the Pisces? Yeah. Oh. The Mises to Pieces. Okay, let's Baby see. Shirts. Ooh. Somebody's get, being patient to have justice. They're not speaking because of a third party. It's a harsh truth and something long-term and committed about the past. A past relationship that there was some betrayal. The truth is coming out. So I feel like, okay, you're not speaking because of a third party and you're trying to be patient to have uh, justice here in something long-term and committed, but a harsh truth about the past relationship betrayal. Someone's telling you the truth. Someone's telling you that they cheated on you. It's coming out that this person was with somebody else and, and that's going to cause you guys not to speak. And you trying to be patient to get justice, but you're not going to get justice just be, by giving somebody a cold shoulder when they tell you that they slept with their ex. It's not going to work that way. Kick them to the curb is what I feel like should have been a big tower moment there. Mm hmm Wow. Okay, Pisces. Well, somebody's out in the cold. From a long-term relationship, I feel like, yeah. Because of a third party. <laughs> because of a third, yeah. Because of a third party. Um, who is this? Who is this? So this person that um, is out in the cold, that has, that has, been the one who cheated may very well be on was may very well have been on his way out the door anyway towards another relationship towards his empress you know sometimes people say or do things um like if they want to get out of a marriage they just go cheat because they know that that will for sure get them out of that marriage when all you really need to get out of a relationship is to say hey i'm out right but some people feel this need to do whatever, whatever it is, so that they get thrown out of this relationship. Um, because right now it looks like, Pisces, you're going right into it. You're going right towards a relationship with your empress. Yeah, a passionate new beginning. I mean, I don't, on the bottom, we have wish fulfillment. You're hurrying towards your wish. So whatever has happened here happened for a reason. You know, you learned a lesson. Um, I hope that the other person is not 
completely injured, but it almost looks like this was your plan all along. Because Pisces, this is you going towards a relationship with your em- with your empress passionately, getting that wish fulfillment, and you are hurrying, like you're hurrying, like you are on your way to your wish. So, just a word of advice in f- future relationship. You don't have to do anything catastrophic. Just be like, hey, this isn't working. I got to go. Yeah. There's no need to to rip somebody's heart out or whatever. Whatever no, works. There isn't. There really isn't. Yeah. There really, really is not. Okay, guys. That's all we have for you. And please go to both of our channels. Like, share, subscribe. Get it out there so we can continue doing what we're doing. And we will see you next week. Hope every, hope everybody has a great weekend. Yes, I do too. I'm going to bed. Okay. Uh, Good night, finally. my dear. Good night.